Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. And this week I'm going to be giving you my top five finds in our used equipment selection. And we've got some real beauties. Okay, before we do that, let's take a look at this. The wonderful Hillbling. Yes, you may have seen last week's video. And if you haven't, why not? Just click on that link and you can catch up. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to Paul who placed his order after watching the video, who's got a lovely grey version of this being built for him right now. However, if you've not placed your order, or maybe you know it's a little bit out of your price range, don't panic. You can still enjoy the Hillbilling by coming down to the store because it's going to be on display for a good few more weeks. Okay, let's take a look at those used finds. So, beginning with, see if you can guess, Yes, Yesus FT817ND. You know I love an 817 or an 818. So this little shack in the box, HF62N70 multi-mode, i.e. you've got full SSB CW operation. You can put filters in. And normally I do say, if you do see a filter for these, or if you've got one already, or even if you're gonna buy one, grab it as soon as you can. Fairly pricey for a filter, about 100, 120 pounds uh, used but it's worth getting, especially if you're a CW op, because they can be a little bit wide on receive. Not a problem though, because when you're out and about, the bands are fairly quiet. When you're up on a hill, you could be on the beach, or in my case, I took this to a ZB land to Gibraltar when they first came out. Two and a half watts, six meters, 34 countries worked before the uh, internal batteries went flat. So that's my first pick out of our use selection. And because I love this radio so much, and also obviously I love my customers, uh, this one's up for 450. We're going to knock 50 pounds straight off the price of this uh, 817 and any of the others that are online as well. Okay, moving across, Henry, sticking with portable radios, you know I've got a 705. We have other used 705s here as well, but I thought I'd go for this one. So, Ellicraft's KX3 transceiver. Everyone loved the K3 when it first came out. Ellicraft came up with the KX3, built-in ATU, loads of additional extras that could be added to this radio. So I believe this one's got the battery built in as well. Obviously came as kit form when they first came into the country. The good thing now that these are now obsolete is that they're all pre-built and you can save an absolute fortune as well. I think if you wanted a fully loaded one of these, you were looking in the region of sort of 2000 pounds plus. Normally now, under £1,500 will get you kind of a fully loaded one or one with the, the options that you're actually going to use. Okay, let's pop that on there. All right, now I told you there were special radios in our use selection. Let's take a look at this beauty. ICOM's IC7851. If you've been with Martin Lynch & Sons for a while or been watching the YouTube channel, you're going to know that we, we sort of lead the way when it comes to flagship HF transceivers. And this is... Uh, exactly one of those. So HF, six meters, 200 watts as standard. Uh, you may have seen the 7850, which is the one that's uh, got the gold bezels and the gold knobs. Uh, this is the one that came after that. So this is your standard edition. Price wise, you'll see it online. I am always open to offers. We always put these up at this price. It's just our, it's just our thing that we do. So 7851 is the price, but I'm always up for an offer, especially if you've been dreaming of one of these for years. Now, a good thing with this is obviously you've still got the scope, so you've got your waterfalls. And as you'll see here, if I just press one of the buttons, uh, we're gonna go, what are we gonna go for? We're gonna go for display. Got all your options here. It's nice and simple to read. Adjustments can be made here. Now, if you prefer a more traditional way of doing it, you can literally just go onto here and just use these knobs out the front. You probably remember these actually. It's kind of a throwback to the original Icon radios from the 80s and the 90s. But yeah, absolutely beautiful bit of kit. As I said, 200 watts of standard, no real need for a linear in today's day and age when you're running the 7851, but be quick because these never hang around for long. Uh, I know the original owner of this, who has been paid, so it does belong to us though now. Um, and this has been very well looked after. He's got a quite a large shack, loads of equipment in there, and this rarely got used, hence why we've got it now. Okay, moving across. Still looking at a flagship radio from back in the day. 
Yesu's FTDX 5000. Now you're probably going to say, Tony, you always show us the 5000. You're going to mention the noise reduction, which is available on the knob down here. But there's a reason why I'm taking you to the FTDX 5000s again. And I'm not going to give you the story that Martin always gives about CDXC queuing up to uh, buy these at the convention. No, what I'm going to tell you is you can have a little bit more peace of mind now when you buy these from Martin Lynch and Sons. And this is something that you're probably not going to get from any of the other dealers is that every single one of these now that I'm buying in, I'm having these OLEDs replaced. I've bought a massive batch of OLEDs from Yesu. As you know, we are direct to Japan. One of the only dealers in the UK, or in fact, the only dealer in the UK that is direct to Japan's factory. And with our authorised Yesu repair shop upstairs, I'm fitting all these in new. So you've got a good at least five to 10 years plus of these OLEDs working without failing. So no issues there whatsoever. Okay, moving along, Henry. What's next on the list? Well, we're gonna go special again. And it's another one that's sort of been uh, put forward by Martin and said, we want one of these. And it's this one. Elad's FTM Duo, finished in this lovely red. So Martin asked the, the guys at Elad, we want a radio that's special, only for Martin Lynch and Sons. And they came up with this limited edition red version of their transceiver. So it's an SDR transceiver. It can be fully portable. Good thing with this as well is you can plug it in and run it as a full SDR on your screen as well. I'll just turn that around there, Henry, so you can have a look at the back. So connectivity wise, We've got our RF outs, ins as well, or should I say reference as well. Uh, obviously, receive antenna and transmit antenna there. So again, you've got separates there. Mic and PTT. Now this one doesn't come with a mic as far as I know, but you, if you've got an icon mic, that should go straight into there and you'll be up and running. And then your connections here for cat control and also your power. Now, there is a menu system involved in this. It can be a bit fiddly from the start. I'm gonna hold my hands up to that. What I will say is make sure you read the manual. Obviously give the guys a call here if need be. But this is a great radio, great radio, especially if you're running a, a linear, maybe you've got a, a 125 linear to go with it. Okay, moving across. Pop that there. I'm going to go over here. But before I do, have you ever seen one of these? So. And this is the beauty of visiting the store and not only looking online, is that items like this just turn up in the store and it's brilliant. So we've got a little Heath kit, HD 1250. Oh, stuck on there. Put that there for you. So it's a lovely little solid state dip meter. It's just a beautiful thing. Out of there for you. There we go. Now you may not see this online. It may never go online. So you've got to come to the store for these little added extras in our used equipment. Okay, moving across, I'm gonna to go to here. Now this is a little bit of a bonus really. It kind of wasn't in my top five, but I wanted to put it in there. Funcube Dongle Pro. So what I like about these is obviously they're British made. And I like Howard as well. And hopefully you've seen Howard over the years. He used to make these by hand at a lot of the rallies. And it's just the fact that when it comes to SDRs, this was kind of a bit of a gateway to most of the modern SDRs that we see now. And they're really reasonable, you know, just over a hundred pounds. Filtering is ideal for satellites. So grab yourself a little fun cube dongle. It's a little treat on that one. Okay, moving across. Another little sneak peek of what we have in here that's coming today. This is FTM 500. Yep, brand new radio. We've got it in the use section already. So it's not always about the old radios. When it comes to Martin Lynch and Sons, we do buy a lot of new radios as well from people that have just had them for maybe you know, three or four weeks. So you've got a chance to save quite a few pounds. Okay, that was your top five and a couple of little extra Tony bonuses. But whilst I'm walking around, I keep spotting radio. So we've got a few extra minutes, haven't we really? I mean, it is lunchtime. So let's take a little look. Gonna go here, Yesu's FT891, HF and six meters, great radio. Obviously, if you want to go mobile, great for portable operations as well, parks on the air. 
Uh, you can get the FC15 matching ATU to go with that as well, which makes life a little bit easier. And then going down from there, we've got the Heath Kit Electronic Kia at £109. And the reason why we've kind of put this one here in 1940 finds is that obviously we fully tested it and it's just in really nice condition. I'm going to pick that up, Henry, actually, so we can show that. Just lovely construction. It's everything's got a sound to it. There we go. And the rear. There we go. So I like that. I do like that. Oh, what we will do is I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to show you how we work it because it's constantly working. Martin knows we're always working. Is I'm going to pop this over here. And that's the manual that goes with that. So that's even more complete than what we just saw. Okay, moving across, Henry, I've got this FT920. We've had this for quite a while. And seeing as we've had it for quite a while, I'm going to knock £100 off of this unit. So this will be for 499 and that is a great radio, sub 500 pounds, HF and six meters, 100 watts, built in ATU and just that lovely classic design. I'm quite tempted to buy that myself, to be honest with you. Right, one more item before we go. I'm gonna have a quick look round and it's going to be, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go ID 5100. So ID 5100, this is the head unit, obviously, the main body is up there. Icom's beautiful mobile transceiver, really clear, dual receive, and it's a true dual receive, so you've got volumes for both the A and the B. Uh, D-Star is standard, GPS as well, built into the head. It's just simple to use. You can monitor airband on it. You know, it's entirely up to you what you want to do, but uh, I know that uh, Manu controls one of these. Also, uh, John's got one of these as well that he operates, so they're, they're kind of loved by the Martin Lynch and Sons group. All right, let's pop that back up there. All I've got left to do is say thank you very much for everyone who tuned in last week. Um, the governor himself is having a little bit of a rest from the videos at the moment, because as you know, he had that bit of cold, so he's taking it easy. And uh, again, thank you to Paul for your order. And if you want to place your order, just give the guys a call. We can always do you a good deal. Take care, 73.